<laughs> Amber Geiger walked in, sobbing. The first chance in front of investigators to tell her story. It's just interesting that that it exists. A video WFAA obtained through a public records request. Not even 24 hours after she shot and killed Botham Jean, a very nervous Geiger sat with two attorneys on one side, the Rangers opposite. Todd Shapiro has been a defense attorney for a long time and is not connected to this case, but he's been in these kinds of crammed rooms before. The colors are drab. The I mean, those are interrogation rooms. A lot of times they're going to get people in there that want to come in and talk. Their goal is to get people in there to talk without lawyers. Shapiro says her defense attorneys like Robert Rogers are stellar, but says anytime a client sits down with an investigator, it is a risky proposition. If there was a crack in her armor, if there was an opportunity to show something from the video that contradicted something she said from the witness stand, they would have jumped on it. The jury never saw this because it was never admitted. Shapiro says if she had strayed from her story, the state would have used it. Geiger talked about her shift as an officer, showed where she stood when she shot Botham, showed how she tried to do CPR while on the phone with dispatch. Seems like the raw emotion we saw from her on the witness stand during the trial is the same emotion you saw from her during this interview as well. I still felt like that guy was going to kill me. Um, she was alive. It has no bearing on the conviction or likely even the appeal, but it is another layer in an event that captivated the country. In Dallas, I'm Jobin Panicker. Geiger is serving a 10-year sentence for Botham Jean's death in 2018. She has appealed that conviction.